right, it's rummage sale day. You guys know this familiar, very familiar. Hey, even the door's open down there. Can't see it, but uh, the bag is here, second in line. Familiar rummage sale. Let's make it a good one. It's back to rummage sale season. I'm excited. You should be excited. I think we all should be excited. Fall is here. Rummage sale, see rummage sale season. Let's find some things at the church sale. Let's do it. Oh. Saw this on the way over, so I came back to it. Ah, that's what it is. Oh, this box is soaking wet. Uh, do I really want to take a soaking box? Ah, well, they are new. Shred. I'm saying shred. It is a uh, box of model cars. Lighting is awful. Yeah, I can probably show you later. Got my uh, garbage bag here. The bag sale. Just bounce around from one area to another. Last time I was here, was stuff like hiding in boxes. It's probably like a punch bowl. Yep, punch bowl set. So glassware. Pewter, huh? I don't really see a lot of pewter spoons. I thought maybe it'll be stone. Just maybe. It was not. I didn't weed this back in there because I'm worried I'm going to break something. Oh, screw it. I should probably do that. I don't think it really matters with a rummage sale. Oh, we see more pewter. See, it's not getting it. Jeez. That might be aluminum. Pinto collection made in India. I never really sold these out well, but this one looks kind of older. I'll put that back. I'll take this little religious figurine. Probably a seal. There's a bag sale, so always, like literally I should just fill this thing with everything possible. I'll try to be a little courteous and try not to take every single thing. Put this in last if it's still here, but it's very fragile. It's thin glass. I do not want to break it, so I'm not going to take it anymore. I don't think these are worth money, but we'll give it a go. I don't think that thing is worth money. I just think that specific thing is not worth this. So I should say, I don't think they, don't think these are worth money. These exact ones, not the category. She got a Michael's Kors bag. I don't know. Okay. Scraps. I like creeping a little and see what else they have here. That is a really cool looking, that looks vintage. Like a merry-go-round kind of thing. Pretty cool. Uh, my bag's getting kind of full. I ain't getting any lighter. See if I'm missing anything. This thing will probably 
Yeah. So. People love birdhouses. All right. Well, got my garbage bag of stuff. This thing is really heavy. I'm hoping it's not going to rip. If you guys have been following me long enough, you remember one time it did rip. Is ridiculously heavy and yeah like I said I did find this earlier on that was in the trash a bunch of model cars a lot of that is stupid heavy I'm going to go inside look at the boutique section really quick I know last year I think I bought a guitar here so just gonna give it a quick look boutique section is a little bit more pricey I would say because it's the boutique section but that was 15 bucks right garbage bag It's 20 bucks for all of them. That was here last year. That cat's 50 bucks. 125 on eBay. That little thing there. That was long before I was here. Thank you. Another Friday. Tell us what's cancer, huh? <laughs> I didn't well, know. I don't know. Really it's been really popping out to me. Hi. Do you know how this works? Okay. okay. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks. So, everybody... All right. Well, I'm home now. And let's try to un unravel this bag and not break anything. I hear the dog. She has appeared. The inspector has appeared. All right, watch out, watch out. Well, this is my merchandise haul. So this is now getting excited. That's why our tail starts going. Um, geez, yeah, so this is $15 worth of just stuff I bought. Not really a whole lot that's gonna go online. Um, some things that kind of was like, oh, I'll bring it to the flea market. In fact, I'm going tomorrow to the flea market to sell. Um, I figured I'll just keep throwing stuff in my bag, but uh, for the clothes, for example, I did pick up one shirt. That is a Wimbledon shirt. I don't don't really know if it's worth much, but um, it's got a print on it right there on the front. Kind of hard to see. They did white on white, which is interesting. It's embroidered. Um, maybe I'll make ten bucks on that online. Uh, I bought these pair of pants. I don't know if they're a golf brand. But uh, they're brand new with the tags also. They were marked at some place for $52. So those are like the only things that I might even put online aside from this. So I thought this was old. It is not. It's from 2014. So, I mean, it, it could be worth something. But I had thought it was probably from the 90s or early 2000s. But unfortunately, it's not. Um, it also seems like it's... Takes a while for that to work. Oh, and that just makes a really bad sound there. So I'll do some more research on that. It's also again overly excited to hear. This is just some silver plate, another piece of silver plate. This is actually aluminum, these old plates. It was such a big thing at one time to have these hanging around your house and collecting these. Uh, lots of little linens and doilies. Like I said, I did pay $15 for everything. It is a bag sale straight from the start, so uh, you can't really buy anything individually. If you do, you might as well just put it into the smallest bag, which is $5. That is just your typical bag from the grocery store. But if you like these, you got a whole bunch of them, napkins and doilies and all sorts of other little fabrics. Got some hats I threw along, captain's hat. Good for Halloween. Halloween's coming up. So oddball things. I feel bad taking this from salsa, but she'll sniff something else. A couple other hats. Nothing great here. I think these are all just dollar hats for the most part. More fabric that salsa can smell. Um, more fabric. I picked up these thinking maybe I'll check them out and see if they're worth anything. I've always said these are these little sewing things. Stitchery things. 
Some are some are good, some aren't. Just throw them in the bag, right? Seeing that they had a price tag of $2 somewhere, it was probably at a yard sale and they didn't sell. I don't think this was silver, but I thought at the time, maybe I'll grab it and it might be silver. I doubt it is. Just a souvenir spoon, a bunch of DVDs. Last year, they didn't have any DVDs. Daily Show. This one's actually still sealed. I don't know, it might be just a game thing. Game pack. So yes, DVDs. And we have one Blu-ray. Wow, 30 bucks at Sears for this Blu-ray. That is crazy. Oddball stuff. More DVDs, wow. So that's kind of cool. Some more decoratives. Um, brassware. It's always good. Since I do scrap, I can almost make my money back just in scrap, which is nice. These, I believe, are aluminum. These will probably go towards Lambertville. Let's knock off pewter. Baseball. Some religious items. I think I have two of these. So lots of fun. I'm happy rummage sales are back. This oddball pewter spoon. Tape measure, brand new, 25 feet. This is actually a solid piece of brass and this thing has some weight. I would say this probably weighs about two pounds. So to think this little tiny egg weighs two pounds, I kid you not, it is heavy. Maybe a pound and a half, but it is heavy. This is the Peace Candle in Eastern Pennsylvania. I guess this is an ornament. There should be a strap on the top or a piece of string. I don't know where that came from. More DVDs, can never go wrong. I don't know why I grabbed this, but this is really, really light. It's almost like it's made out of um, um, some sort of, uh, the, the things you buy, not pumpkins. Gourd, maybe? Could be a gourd. It's very light. More brass, more DVDs. These I thought were really cool. Uh, unfortunately, they are broken. This one's missing its ear. The other, uh, This one's also missing its tusks. But they are bookends. See, this one only has one tusk, but it has both ears. They are bookends. Brass. And uh, this did make the trip. Did not break. I picked up a bunch of these somewhere else. Oh, at a yard sale. And I brought them down to Leesport. And uh, they didn't sell that quick. One guy ended up buying them all. And I just sold it to him for, I think, a dollar a piece or two for a dollar. Uh, but it was towards the end of the day, which I was kind of shocked around especially being a football season a lot of people around here love the eagles so to find vintage eagle stuff i thought it would always sell but i guess everyone just has them um and like i said it's very thin glass they break really easily so that's no good i also got some vacuum bags thinking those might go on ebay this guy kind of nice uh, a little seal down there and lastly this birdhouse which I might keep for myself. I might sell it. I don't know. Um, really cool. Lighthouse tours, 50 cents, and a bird goes in there. Uh, maybe I'll throw some around the, the property. Let the birds have a little home for a little bit, even though I think they have enough homes in the trees and all these buildings and my house. And What a day. Anyway, we're back to rummage sales. It was a fun one. Thanks for tagging along. Total cost of $15. A nice treasure hunt in the books. As always, I love going to these rummage sales and they're a lot of fun. If you want to check out rummage sales, uh, Craigslist is a great option. Facebook as well as your local paper. Um, and that's going to conclude it for here. So if you guys enjoy treasure hunts, hit the like button, subscribe down below. And of course, catch you guys next time for next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.